Uh, hello, welcome back to Real Talk with Budget Sound. Uh, what we're doing here is we're teaching you how to uh, properly set up your board and uh, so you can run sound um, on a budget without breaking the bank. Uh, uh, where to cover what we covered in the first video, just a little bit of it is uh, where most bands or, or sound people that want to get into the business uh, mess up as they start off by buying too much equipment and uh, so I'm just showing you the basics that you need to do to uh, run sound for however many people's coming to where it won't break the bank and uh, so today uh, on the on, well, actually on the last video yesterday's video uh, we covered the proper gain structure and that's something that you're you're going to do for every channel uh, for any system, for any show, for any artist, uh, no matter how many people's coming or, or how much equipment you have, game structure must be done. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a gate for a vocal mic for somebody singing or speaking or, or whatever. And uh, once again, the, the mic that I'm talking to you on here on the video, all of that has already been done. And uh, But I'm going to use another mic. Uh, to talk in and set the gate up and stuff like that so you can actually hear uh, what it's doing as I'm adjusting and applying values to the gate. Uh, I've watched uh, a lot of videos on YouTube on running sound and setting up gates and stuff like that, and you really can't hear what it's doing because all of that's already been done. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, First of all, tell you what a gate is and what it does, and then I'm going to let you hear how the microphone is affected as I'm applying values to it. All right. First of all, we call this real talk, so I'm going to explain what a gate on a like a vocal does uh, in real talk to what we all deal with or we've all seen sometime in our life in the real world. All right, so I like I like to look at like a fence, uh, you know, well in a fence or some type of pasture or something like that. There's uh, usually a gate so you can get in and out, and depending on how old the gate is, uh, or how much it's been rained on, and the hinges are rusty or whatever, you know, the uh, some gates are harder to open, and just like some gates uh, close faster than others, you know, some gates may have a spring on them that. Once you go through the gate and you let go of it, it uh, comes back pretty quick, you know. And you can do the same thing with your gates here. But we need to know what the purpose of a gate is. The gate uh, connects two sections of fence, and it's there to keep uh, things in the fence, and it's there to keep things out of the fence. So, uh, And it's the same thing here, except on the running sound, what you want your gate or maybe your fence to do is to keep things out of your mix that you don't want. Okay, and uh, a good example of that is say you're doing a, uh, you're playing a show and it's outside and the wind's just really blowing. It's really just whipping around. Well, if you don't have a gate on your microphone, your microphone's going to pick up that wind. And uh, as the band is playing, that wind is going to be in your mix and it's not going to sound very appealing to your audience, to your crowd. And uh, so I want to show you how to set that up. Another good thing for a gate is to uh, not pick up any stage noise, uh, like, you know, the drummer or maybe guitars or bass amps or whatever, because that's going to put the guitar player coming through on your vocal channel. And uh, once again, that's putting something in your mix that you're going to have to deal with, you know, to make it appealing to your crowd. So I'm going to show you how to set up a gate, and I, I still have the other mic that I talked to you on on the last video. I'll let you hear it. Check, check, check. See, it don't have any type gate or anything like that on it. I'm going to show you how to set that up. So I have selected channel 2, where that mic is. I'm going to come up here to gate. Okay. As you can see, this, all of this right here, this whole section is going to pertain to nothing but this channel 2, this track 2 right here. And uh, Behringer comes with, uh, you know, presets, but the board that you have or the board that you may purchase may not have that. So I'm going to show you how to manually set up a noise gate. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to turn it on. All right. Now, the gate is on, but it's really not doing anything because this line is straight. 
So it is on, it's just not active. As we start working this gate, you'll start seeing this line kind of bend and uh, there at the knee and kind of skew out so you can control what's coming in. Over here, I have the gate number selected. A gate can also be used to expand or maybe uh, have it duck under a certain volume, but we're, we're going over gate today for the purpose of this video. All right, this right here is like your threshold. And uh, this threshold is, uh, right now it is at negative 80. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna let everything come through the microphone uh, that is negative 80 or louder. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, so we want to work that out. And uh, I'm gonna move to this other microphone so you can hear it in what it does and, and does it. And we'll set it up right and then I'll kind of overgate it, and you'll see we're cutting stuff out. But the whole point of a gate is to, uh, when someone is sing uh, singing or speaking through the mic, that the mic is only going to pick up what is spoken directly into it. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. So here we go. Let me move to the other mic, and we'll start setting this up. Check, 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 check. Check. Okay, as you can see, as I move this up, I started getting this bend here. So what that means is from this is a volume and this is a volume. So everything that's between here, it won't pick up. And that's all the noise that's in and around a microphone if a band's playing or the wind's blowing or whatever. All right, I'm going to move to the other mic again and I'm going to increase it just a little bit more. Check. Check. Check, 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 check. Okay, as you can see, when I speak into the mic, this red line goes away. This is your gate. This is your gate closing, trying to keep everything else out. Uh, as I was talking uh, in the mic here, the other mic's right beside, it's not even picking up my vocal of me talking in the mic that's just uh, four inches from it. So, uh, this is very important. So this means is if a guy's standing in front of the mic and he's not singing and his bandmate comes up and talks to him, the mic next to it won't pick it up so the crowd don't hear what's said. So let me go ahead and overgate it and I'll show you what's gonna what it's gonna do. Check, 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 check. Well, as you can see, the gate has closed so much that it's not even letting anything come out, even when I talk into the real mic. I'll do that now. You'll see this green line going up and down, and you'll see that I'm actually talking in the mic, but the board, the gate, is not letting anything come out. Watch this. Check, 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 check. So see, it's gated too much. The one thing you don't want to do is cut out any of the lyrics or any of the words or songs. So I'm going to turn this back down. And we'll get it set just right. Check, 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 check. And see, that's pretty good. Uh, so that is set up, and that is how you gate and why you gate a vocal or any type. Uh, pretty much you're going to gate any type microphone, uh, especially when we, when we get on drums. And we're going to do videos on drums. You know, you would gate like a, a snare drum mic because you don't want it picking up the tom the mics that's on the toms and stuff like that so you can set the board up to take care of that okay once again if uh if i've left anything out or anything like that you can leave a comment uh below and uh if you like this video click like subscribe to my channel and uh, click the notification bell y'all have a good day and thank you